All right, we got the uh, 2024 EV9 GT line edition. This one's in uh, silver, the ivory silver. And this is Kia's newest full-size SUV, all-electric vehicle. It's got this the really cool LED lights in the front, so you can see all these LED lights that can come on with different um, different options for lighting those up and you can see some of them aren't even lit up yet so I'm assuming there's an option to change the light pattern but I really like the color of this one it looks really clean and I'm very intrigued by this vehicle it's this one's fully loaded it's got the front passenger nice. has a kick leg seat or a, like a thigh thigh lift you create it fully loaded, and then you've got big dual 12.3 inch, I believe, digital gauge clusters. Coming in the rear, you get, this one comes with the power captain seats. You can also get this with, you push this button and it powers forward. You can get this without the power seat option, which I think is what I would go for as a having kids. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to wait for those to power forward every time. But really, really nice. Let's see if we can move this seat. Let's see if it goes forward anymore. It does not appear to. So I'm gonna see if I can get back here. See what it's like in the back seat here. Yeah, it's a little, it's pretty decent. You got a lot of headroom in the back. You could fit two adults back here without any problem. And then looking at the, you got a couple holders over here. Let's recenter that camera. A couple cup holders here, armrest, USB-C charging port. And you can power this seat back again. It's just really slow. I'm not not a big fan of the speed of that seat, but that is how these ones fu function. You can get them without that, obviously. Now we'll see if we can get out in the center here. Sorry, guys. You guys get in. You got this little slide-out tray comes out, and we'll take a look at that, and then some cup holders for the rear passengers. All right, let's get out of this back seat. Put that seat back down. Yeah, with the thigh extender. It's pretty sweet. Good leg room in the back. So you got good leg room for your knees. It's got the sunroof in the front. You've actually got a separate sunroof here in the back. Wait, I see the appeal now. And then here is this little kind of tray that comes out of the center. I think it's so you're kind of neat so you kids backseat passengers can kind of put their stuff here if they're having snacks or whatnot put that there a couple cup holders so let's see if we can get a look in the back here so not a ton of space it's not a full-size SUV like you'd get in like a Suburban or Tahoe or something but a little bit of under the floor storage in the rear and then of course these seats can fold down as well to give you even more space if you need it. This one comes with a power lift gate. Let's see if we can close that. See how fast this goes. It's pretty good. And then I do like the styling. You got the new Kia logo in the back. I like the styling of this new EV9. And then when you put the tailgate up, that's yeah, nice. We'll see if we can get a chance to get in the front seat of this vehicle. So coming around, good. This got a lot of black accents. The handles pop out for you when you approach. If you're an owner of the vehicle, as you approach, the handles will pop out. Otherwise, they go flush into the door. And these front seats have massive functionality. These thigh extenders you got rear uh, lumbar support multi-function seats 
steering wheel. It's got all your cruise control functions, your radio functions, and then to actually start the vehicle, here's your gear shift knob here. So you move that to get it go. Hit this for park. But, and then actually your power button's over here. It's kind of an interesting spot for your power button on the vehicle. You can lock it lock your four-wheel drive so kind of a locking electronic locking differential these cool cup holders Let's see they kind of spin spin this way and then you can pop them out fit different size drinks wireless charging pad and then you've got different charging here that you can say whether you're going to the stereo or whether you're just charging the phone so yeah I like this new offering from Kia this is a very nice vehicle it's comfy those seats are cozy lots of space this one comes in a little hefty it's seventy eight thousand dollars but you're getting 80 mpge on this vehicle and again this is the GT line all-wheel drive long-range battery so Kia EV9 all doing right, it right so here we are we're gonna take a drive in this EV9 here at the Denver Auto Show and uh, I'm sure we're going to get a few instructions before we go. What do we need? Really briefly, I want to let you know that you've got several buttons down here on the left-hand side of the seat. We've got for okay. lumbar support to move the seat forward and backwards, up and down. Okay. The EV9 offers a very nice cushion that you can elevate your feet with, kind of like a reclining chair. Okay. So that's available for you as well. On the door, you'll find the heated, ventilated seats, and then also the steering wheel. Sorry, I should have let you know in advance. We've got the little four square or four triangle button. Yep, exactly. So you can adjust it. All right, perfect. Thank you. All right, so we're going to take this drive in the EV9 and have my dad record for us. Once you get buckled down, I'm gonna have you hold the phone. Yeah. Your lucky day. <laughs> I gotta get in the car first. <laughs> so you also should have buttons on your right hand side for you to move the seat backwards and forwards if okay. you feel like you still need some more room. It's back and sure we're good. Okay. That's good, I got nothing. Alright. And then just so you know, because these are Korean cars. They have buttons on here where you can move this seat on the passenger forward or backwards. Oh, okay. So right. it's kind of nice too. All right. All right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Buckled in the orange. Feel free to adjust the mirrors on the outside and the rear mirror. Right? I think it's actually this black one in front of us that has it. Gotcha. It's only for the driver though. Okay. Um, awesome. So we're all buckled in. You feel comfortable in your seat. Your yeah. mirrors are comfortable for you. Sweet. I have to ask you two basic maybe kind of silly questions, okay. but they're part of protocol. Nope, you're good. Just want to make sure that you're familiar with how to navigate the steering wheel, the pedal, yep. brake acceleration, the pedal for braking. And this, does this have one pedal driving? Yes, but it doesn't automatically uh, go into that. You would okay. have to set it, set it up with the paddles behind the steering wheel. These, so you, these adjust your one pedal? Correct, yeah. So right now you have it on level two. So the right hand side one will oh, decrease right and then increase, correct. So that's so max one pedal driving. Okay. Exactly. All right. And then where's the park brake that I so have to release? So this car actually has it right here on this little handle. So you're going to switch gears by twisting it. Correct. Okay. Not sure that they're leaving right away. A little tight. Thank you. 
I had to start your video over. You had to start it over? Yeah, it quit. Oh, come on. Or I hit the button with my big giant thumb. <laughs> it's all right, we'll just say it quit. That's what I'm going with. All right. So do you always have to be the cameraman or? Well, yes. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> when he takes me with him. Yeah. So I, we have a YouTube channel and so we just make videos. We've been making videos of all the vehicles we saw upstairs today and then we wanted to get a chance to drive these today since it was offered. Busy. Yeah, I think the yeah. traffic is picking up a little bit. And they got a lane closed up there. Dude, it doesn't help. So we're going to hop on this lane when we get a chance, and then we're going to make it right here on 14. Sounds good. You guys have been pretty busy with this. How's it been? Reset, received. Uh, well, at this specific car show, it's been quite slow. We really? heard that yesterday was the opening day for baseball, so... Yeah. I think that might have had an influence, yeah, but today nice. today's been a little more steady in the last couple of days for sure. Well, that's good. I think it's cool that you guys have, uh, especially this vehicle, this is a brand new vehicle to your lineup and it's pretty cool that you can come out here and drive it. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of people that are looking forward to experiencing it and it's really fun to be in it for sure. What's your favorite feature of this car? What do you like the most about it? For sure, the massage button and the GT one. Yeah. Um, in general, I think it's a really comfortable SUV. I'm a, it's pretty quiet. Right. I mean, we're in a tunnel quiet. and the pretty out there it was pretty loud, a lot of echoes, and you don't hear any of that in here. Yeah, there's great noise cancellation. Lots of really beautiful camera features, too. Um, I'll show you a little bit more. Digital rear that. camera. Ooh, yeah. So we're taking it right here, you Correct. said? Yeah, so we have that digital camera for the rear view mirror. So you can turn it on or off depending on what you feel more comfortable with. Okay. We've got those cameras that you saw when we left, the bird's eye view. We've got the front camera. Oh, no. Pedals. We've got the back camera whenever you're backing up. And then we've got a 360 camera that you can oh, wow. touch and check your surroundings with. So that's pretty neat. We Good. also have the blind spot camera that turns on with the blinker. Okay, so if you... Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So you, and you have that for both sides. Correct. Pretty cool. It has a pretty nice range. This one goes to, a, to about... Well, most EV9s go anywhere from like 280 to 304, depending on the trim that you okay. have. This is an all-wheel drive version? This is an all-wheel drive, okay. correct, yeah. And where does, did you said this is the light or the wind version? This is the land. Land. So there's Sorry. five trims and this is the second, the one before the highest. Okay. The second highest, I guess that makes sense. So it goes GT line, then land is right below it. Correct, yeah. And what's, what would the differences between the GT line and this be? Are they aesthetic or are there actually, uh, I mean, obviously the massage seat you said. Yeah. But are there a lot of features lost down to this trim? Or Not really, it it's just going to be those extra aesthetic features. And what's the price difference? Do you know the price difference between, between those? the two? Let me see if it comes up here. We're going to keep going straight. We're going to make it right on 3 Tremont. Tremont. One pedal does really good, it grabs. Right. So I didn't have to hit the brake there, Dad. What do you mean? It just, the there's, electric motor stopped us. There's no brake pedal? Well, there's a brake pedal, but we have the full, uh, we have the, oh, I just lost the words. The regenerative. regenerative braking, thank you. Full regenerative braking on. So when you're driving, it'll regenerate electricity back into the battery to slow you down instead of using your brake pads. Oh. So. All right. My dad is new to the electric world and skeptic. Right. Uh, so. Well, I'm a baby boomer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all right. That's what you're here for, right? Just right. to learn right. and experience different. We still like him though, vehicles. I guess. They still like <laughs> me. 
Do you have electric vehicles yet? I do not have an electric vehicle, no. Um, I'm interested in electric vehicles. I've driven a few, but um, no, I don't have one myself. I, I have plenty of friends that I know do have electric vehicles. Many of them like them. They've got Teslas. I have a buddy just bought a F-150 Lightning. Uh, I know people that have Ford Mustang Mach-E. I don't know anyone that owns a Kia directly yet. But I know that I've been watching this EV9 for a while as it's been announced and then coming out now finally. And certainly for my family, this would be a, a pretty sweet option to fit us all. Yeah, we're going to make a right here. In plenty of room. Plenty of room in here for your family. How do you feel back there? Yeah, there's a lot of room. It's very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, and those middle seats also move forward and backwards significantly. Nice. They recline a lot too. They also have those cushions to elevate your feet. So uh -huh. lots, lots of comfort, That's very cool. luxurious. Um, the difference in price between this one and the top trim, the GT line, is going to be about three grand. Okay. So it's not too much. Um, and then the other thing that's different too is, uh, like I said, it's mostly aesthetic, but there's an additional camera. So we have a head-up display in the GT line. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So right here, you're talking you're their head-up display for your speedometer and all those things. Correct. Okay. But basically, everything else is very similar. Okay. We're going to keep going. Oh, actually, we're going to right here. On the Turn right here? Yes, yeah, sorry. Pass in front of Close this fire down. station. Denver Fire Station 1. Oh, didn't even notice I've been driving by. <laughs> So is the electric engine noise, is that generated or is that, are we actually hearing the electric motors or is that just plumbed in through the sound system? You can hear a little bit of the electric, the wine. Sound, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I, that's the natural. That's just the motors? Mm -hmm. The dual motor system. Oh, yeah. well, we're done already. I know, it's a short ride. Okay, you want me to pull in here? No, it's actually straight ahead, so this oh. is going to be just like a little loop. Oh, this is not our stop. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people waiting there, though. I think there might be some sort of concert or other event. Gotcha. Did you want to go for another round? Sure. Yeah, let, let, me. Me, let me just ask. Is anybody else waiting for the EV9? Or, this is Jessica. I'm wondering if our guests can go for a second round. We can go ahead. Perfect, thank yeah. you. Yeah, this one has lots of different um, driver's assist features, forward collision, blind spot, cruise control, lane assist, parking distance, distance warning. Basically everything here is gonna be touch screen except for yeah these buttons so these, here you have these physical and these are kind of interesting because they're lit but they're, it's like a well it's actually like a tact tactile uh, like yes. it's not actual mm -hmm. it's so you just have to hold it for a second like a haptic yeah. we have to hold it yeah and then it kind of vibrates okay yeah yeah that's kind of cool i guess we should move forward and then this is just HVACs, mm -hmm. is, does it change to anything else or is it just? It's just gonna be for the That's all it's for? for? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then down here we just got cup holders that are adjustable for smaller, bigger cups. This closes all the way for comfort. There's wireless charging over here. Lots of charging outlets over here. We've got charging outlets beside the seats as well. So the people in the back can connect anything they need to charge. There's an extra cubby here where you can store things as well. You can lift this up. And then in the back, right beneath the cup holders, we also have a pull-out cubby that's pretty deep in there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And like a little like table. Like a little tray or something, like right? Yeah, it has a little tray. Seen that inside. It's like lighted. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The kids can put their snacks yeah, on it. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a little table. kind of looks like the airplane table that you have. Oh, right. Out. And then you can push the top part in and it becomes like a little oh, cubby in here. Sorry about that. That's all right. That's cool. Very cool. And this has different drive modes, I just noticed. Correct, sport, yeah. Eco, normal, sport, 
snow and my I assume my drive is a personalized setup. That's correct, yeah, you can customize it. And then we've got two uh, roof windows, um, the moon one that stays closed, but you can just open it up for the light. Okay. And then this one opens up all so the way. So sunroof, sun. moonroof in mm -hmm. the back? All right. Correct. Ooh, I like the ambient lighting. Does that change colors? It, yeah. I think we have about 82 different ones. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. That's great. Yeah, you get, can you see that on the camera? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty. I like that little ambient. Is there any lighting that comes up below? Uh, we just have this one here, yeah, like and then pocket, you can kind of I see guess. it down here. Oh, like I see it there. Beside your leg, and then under this. Okay, my leg was blocking all of it. And then on the doors, you can see it as well. In the back, the doors have it as well. Can you see that down below, Dad, or anything? Yeah, I can see it on the dumb doing thing. the door right now. Yeah, that's pretty neat. yeah, you can see it down below. That like the tray she showed me is changed that to that color. Man, this is a really comfy car to sit in. Right. And it's quiet. Is I can't believe how quiet it is. We have so all of our eighty nines and eighty six have this like beautiful meditative music to show you just how zen it could be. That could be dangerous. <laughs> right? Somebody to sleep. <laughs> but very cool for yeah, passengers. I mean, with the heat warmers with the leg yeah. lifting cushions. Get the massage function going. Interesting. Where the wire is at? It usually pops up. Oh, here it is. Oh, there we go. A lively Ooh. forest. Yeah, that's going to put me right to sleep. <laughs> nice for the passengers, though. system is really great, too. That's just like a scroller. Yeah. Like yeah. a scroller knob for the volume. That's pretty neat. Wow. It's... What's nice, what I like about this cabin, I mean, we've, I've driven in Teslas, and I've driven in some of the others. Obviously, Tesla's like trying to get rid of any of the normal car feel, uh, whereas a lot of the others still have some of the function, but this feels like a normal car you'd sit in. You know, like you have all your functions, you have your, your stocks here. The steering wheel is basically what you'd find in a regular vehicle, and so you feel very much at home even though you're in a new experience of an EV. It's more mm -hmm. familiar with what people are used to. Yeah, it's a familiar it's a familiar environment. I like that. So all really the biggest difference is you're just driving around on electricity instead of gasoline. But like even in the back, like this is a it feels like a lot of three row SUVs, like the comfort wise of where things are laid out and everything. Although I think this is more comfortable than a lot of them that we sat in today. Don't you, would you agree, Dad? Um, yeah, I it's think this is very comfortable. comfortable. I'm quite comfortable back here. What else we got? Which one are we on? We're on the Experience, Experience the, universe. the Universe. City at Dawn. Oh, we got the train. Oh, no, that's the, the real actual, train. <laughs> it's the actual train. The okay. actual train. <laughs> <laughs> people running across against the green light. Not you, don't worry. Don't worry, you don't have a walking sign. <laughs> oh, nope, don't worry. Oh my God, this guy's about to run into the car. Are you guys, are you guys seeing that it's a green light? Green light, can we go? It is people. You gotta love it. But it doesn't work. It doesn't really do anything to honk or get mad, I guess. Yep. We've got to focus onto the city at dawn sounds right now. That's right. What else? What's your favorite one? I think we have a fire one. Oh, well, well, we want to hear window. that. Uh, it's not this one, but there's one that sounds like a fire. Well, this one's like kind of like a fiery one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's relaxing. So this, 
this EV9 can um, be charged from 10% to 80% in under 25 minutes. Pretty good. That's what the fastest Because this charger. has the 800 volt architecture, is that right? Mm -hmm. So just like the EV6? Yeah. So in under 25 minutes, you can go from 10 to 80 and um, with the regular level two is what we call the charger. That one takes about um, an hour. An hour to go from 10 to 80? Uh, yes. No, sorry. Probably not, several sorry, hours. Not eight, what, level eight. two charger? Yes, eight yeah, hours. I'm okay. getting that, that sounds good. Yeah, so t under 25 minutes with a fast charger and then about eight hours with these. Probably, an, probably an hour or so to go from 10 to 100 is what I would guess. Is that about right? Well, generally, it stays at a 80% just to protect the battery, so. Mm -hmm. Why does that protect the battery? Because otherwise it like overcharges. So it's basically. Yeah. Typically, manufacturers recommend that you don't charge above 80 on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. oh. um, helps preserve the battery and helps helps longevity so that it doesn't have any kind of battery fade mm -hmm. over time. And then some of them, like the Audi we sat in today, Dad, they actually put a buffer on the top of the battery that you can't access. So you can charge higher without going into that damage, but you don't get to use that top end of the battery. Just kind of take it away from you huh. so it's kind of a what's better do you want to be able to feel like you've charged 100 percent on a regular basis and then there's a different battery technology this is a lithium ion i assume mm -hmm. yes and the lfp the lithium iron phosphate batteries actually recommend that you charge to 100 on a regular basis mm -hmm. which i don't think kia has any lfp batteries i know tesla like the model 3 rear wheel has that yeah, for at least for the EV9, the six, the near, it's all lithium. All lithium ion. Well, this is a great. I'm enjoying this car. I really, I really feel like it's comfortable. It's. I wish we could go faster than. We're gonna make it right here. What the uh, traffic is allowing us to. Yeah, unfortunately, but. because we're in the middle of downtown, it's kind of <laughs> hard to. But I mean, it, it'll go. Yeah, it has 379 horsepower and 516 torque. And it's a big car, but it moves it really well for, for being a big, heavy vehicle with lots of weight from the batteries. Uh -huh. Well, and Dad, the thing I really like about the electric vehicles that I've driven is the weight's all below us for the most part. Huh. And so you feel really planted. Oh, yeah, sure. I get that. And so it helps you to not feel... It's a heavy vehicle. I mean, this probably weighs as much as as my truck but all the weight is down low, uh -huh. whereas my truck's all a lot higher. What's the warranty on something like this? Um, so this one you get, almost all of our um, electric are gonna be 10, not almost, all of our electric are gonna be a 10 year warranty for 100,000 miles. Oh. And that includes the battery. Wow. That does include the battery. Correct. Wow, that's a phenomenal warranty. Yeah. So this one, I'm trying to look. look. Look at the weight of the car specifically. Mm. So you feel that that's just the like the one pedal driving, Dad. That's just grabbing us. I'm not hitting the brake or nothing. So it's just regenerating energy back into uh -huh. the battery and slowing us down. I wonder if that works like a jake brake, sort of, so on the drive line. I guess it'd be similar. I mean, this the jake brake's putting back pressure on the motor. Right. And it's not generating any energy for the vehicle. But I wonder if that's the same principle, putting back pressure, he's generating that power to put back. Yeah, I mean, it's similar similar to that and it doesn't generate a lot of battery energy back into the battery no but if you're driving but, around town you know like going down a pass if you're driving the mountains and you're going down the far side of the pass you can regenerate a lot of that energy back right mm -hmm. into the battery and get a you know you can get a few percentage worth of power 
back from what you used to go up the mountain. are very calming. Right? And especially <laughs> with the noise cancellation. Yeah. It I mean, really it's so just... quiet in here. There's not a lot of noise coming from the outside. I mean, we're in traffic. We just had the train pass us. And none of it is very intrusive at all. That's okay. I appreciate you looking. That's no big deal. Let's see. So depending on what mode you're in, it changes your mileage too. Correct. And it changes your one pedal driving option as you change modes. Interesting. All right, I found it. So this, so the EV9s can be around 5,000 to 5,800 pounds. 5,000 to what was it? 5,800. Okay. Depending on the trim, of course. But yeah, that's on average how much it weighs. And then it has a 5,000 towing capacity as well. Hmm. All right. Thank you for looking that up. Mm -hmm. Harbingers of Spring. I do the camera up here, right? Earlier? You did, yeah. Okay. I switched it back. Okay. Does that feel more comfortable for you, the regular? No, but when I'm talking to my dad, I can look at oh, him. I, I feel, see. I keep looking up there and it's the camera. Uh -huh. I do like, I mean, I like the rear camera. Uh huh. Although this camera, this car behind us literally looks like he's in our trunk in the camera. It's kind of weird sensation. For sure. But, um, no, when I'm talking to people, I often look back there and it's weird to not be, be able, able to look to at see. them when they look in the mirror. <laughs> thing touched. Mm -hmm. Just the lights. Heated steering wheel is nice. Oh, did, and it turns on right away. Did yeah, you notice that? Yeah, it's so fast. And it's got heat almost this entire top part and this bottom. The only part that's not really heated on the side. is the sides here. But all of this you can feel heat throughout, which is really nice. Here in Colorado, obviously, that'd be a huge benefit. Mm -hmm. You need a cooling one for the hot places. The heated seat's been on. I'm gonna try the cooling seat for a minute. The, uh, I don't, your mother loves the heated steering wheel on her car. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a Somebody nice, like me, always has cold hands. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's a really nice feature. Are you using the heated seat back there? No. No, you don't like it? No, I just haven't turned it on. I, oh, okay. I'm trying to hold this camera. And camera duty? <laughs> I do like heated seats, though. I have them in my car, and I love them. I turn them on even in the summer so when my back hurts or something. Oh, yeah. And I, <laughs> it's like <laughs> if I'm in the car a long time, I turn them on because it feels so good on my back, you know. Right. It's almost therapeutic. Well, maybe if you guys get the GT line, you can yeah. get that massage feature. Yeah, the massage too. feature. <laughs> <laughs> Although, unfortunately, it's only for the driver's side. Which is all so, that matters, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and you, can you get the GT line? I noticed when we were looking at it on the floor, it had power rear seats, like to fold forward. You, can you get them without that in the GT line? You know, mm. you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Like where the, the button on top and then uh -huh. it slowly folds forward yeah. in the third row. Can you get mm. those with the manual seats? That's a good question. I'm not 100% sure. We can double check with my colleague and James. Okay. See if he knows. They okay, must be having an event there of some sort. Maybe. Some. Are we by the. I don't think that's the dinner. There was a. A comedian so. here a couple of days ago. Yeah. I don't know about today. There's, I know there's like a cheerleading dance event that was happening today too. Hmm. 
The line is definitely growing. It's mostly adults though, so it must be some type of concert or show. Yeah. So are you guys working upstairs doing media for them or? No, we just, I have a YouTube channel. Mm. And so we just have media passes to to come to the event and look at the cars and then I'll go back and start posting on the channel. Oh, fun. Yeah. So do you do all electric videos or Not, all types of cars? I do all types of cars. I've done a lot of electric vehicles lately mm -hmm. because that's what all my friends seem to have bought lately. And so they'll let me have access to their cars for a little while. but. So I've done a lot of electric vehicles. And then actually, we're getting ready to go on a road trip on Tuesday, and we rented a, an electric vehicle to take to Arizona. So we're gonna oh, try a road wow. trip and see what it's like road yeah. tripping an electric vehicle and uh, make a video about that and see how it goes. So That's that should be fun. fun. Yeah, definitely. I tried to find one of these on Turo, but there weren't any of these on Turo The yet. EV9? Yeah. yeah. It's too new. I too new. That. But I'm sure very soon we have a, a lady on our team, another in vehicle host, and she has a fleet of, of cars. And I don't think she has an 89 yet either. Yeah. But, um, we went with the Tesla, just make it easy for our first EV mm, road trip, yeah. you know, see what the they have the a pretty vast charging network. But right, I don't know. I really am in, I would love to do a road trip in this because this is very comfortable. It's ideal for that, I think. I think yeah. this would be really nice. What I need to do is get my wife in this and see if she likes it. <laughs> I think she would like it. She wouldn't like that I'd be driving it all the time. <laughs> but, uh, no, if you got it, you wouldn't be driving it. <laughs> right. That's a, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real here. Yeah. yeah, even for me that I'm super petite, I don't... I prefer smaller cars, right? I just feel like it's right. more suiting, but this feels so comfortable for me. Like I don't even realize I'm in an SUV when I'm driving it. Yeah, you def I mean, you feel, you definitely feel bigger than you're, than you do in a sedan, mm -hmm. but not necessarily how you feel in like a, a Tahoe or a Suburban, a full size SUV where you're like, feel like it's massive. And actually everything behind me actually feels you don't feel it back there. I don't know how to describe that, but exactly. there is a three row SUV behind me. It's just, you don't feel like it. You feel like you're in a smaller vehicle the way it drives. This feels roomy like, the, is it the Carnival? Yeah, the, you like the Carnival van? Which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a, but this is more SUV-ish yeah. with the doors instead of the sliding. But it's very roomy like that one. Yeah, this and is nice. It's they easy get to get in, in and get in this for me, which is a consideration for me. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to pull up all the way to the front if we've got space. Okay. Front of that EV9 or in Correct. this? Correct. We can go all the way to the front of the EV9. Okay. So that way it's closer for you guys to walk. Perfect. And that way you can test the, the back of camera. I don't know if you got a chance to do that yet. We did a little bit when we got out, but. Oh, okay. It. I love the parking assist. Yeah, it's great. Lines. Is that about where you want yep, this is stopped? Great, yeah, just enough space for them to get out. Hit it in the end to put it in park. And then you can click the EV button. button. All right, so we got to drive the EV9 and uh, at the conclusion of the video, my cameraman or my dad decided to turn the camera off. So everything I said about my f final thoughts about the drive and everything apparently was uh, lost. So here you are, here's my thoughts. I thought the uh, I thought the EV9 was a comfortable vehicle. I enjoyed driving it, it was pretty peppy. I mean, most EVs are pretty uh, peppy. Some are obviously more peppy than others, but for, uh, 
family vehicle, very, very peppy, especially when you compare it to the uh, Kia Telluride. This had way more get up and go, uh, way more power, was very palpable. Um, it was a, I thought it was also really comfortable. Um, it was a, a very comfortable vehicle. The seats were comfy, they were cushy. There was a lot of room in that vehicle. And so this is a vehicle I would absolutely consider uh, buy-in for my family if I was looking for an EV um, to drive around town. Um, I, would, uh, I would recommend you look at it. If, if you're looking at the Telluride, you should look at this vehicle too and uh, compare them and see what you think, see what uh, feels good. And if an electric vehicle fits into your world, then I think this is probably the most affordable way to get three rows of seating in a SUV that's run by an electric motor. So, um, and obviously we're barring, we're taking out all the, the hybrids that Toyota has. Those are, there's a lot of Toyota hybrids, there's Kia hybrids, there's plenty of uh, three row SUVs that have hybrid motors, but I'm talking pure electric vehicle. You've got a, a Rivian R1S, you've got a, a Tesla Model X and the EV9, I mean, I, I'm trying to think of other three-row SUVs. I don't, I don't think of any that would be in the running that we'll be looking at in this class. So this is probably your most affordable three-row family SUV EV. So anyways, those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If uh, Tell me what you think about the, the EV9. Do you like it? Is it, uh, do you like the style? Does it intrigue you like it intrigues me? Is it a vehicle that you would look at or consider? And uh, if you've driven it, let me know what you thought, what your thoughts are on driving it. So tell me down in the comments below and uh, we'll look forward to having you back here at Press and Go again soon. Thank you. Later. Did you get that? <laughs> I don't think so.